Why, hello, cat ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this week's installment of Ask a Cat Lady. I'm your host, Sarah Donner, and this week's question comes from the internet, as it always does. Uh, Kareth T asks, I really want to get a cat, but my husband is mildly allergic. What do I get? A new husband! He's totally on board, and we'd like to rescue. Okay, no. Forget that. Sorry. <laughs> I've heard that long-haired kitties are better for allergies. Well, <laughs> have I have some myths to dispel for you. <clears throat> if you tend to suffocate when a cat is in your face, you might want a special breed to accommodate your special needs. It's not the hair that makes you sick, it's the enzymes inside their spit. There's a protein inside the kitty gene that causes allergies called Feldy one It can make you sneeze, cough and puff and wheeze. If you lose your sneeze, what is to be done? According to the internet, science doesn't know quite yet. The Devonshire and Cornish Rex make a very curly pet. The Balinese are petite, slender to the Javanese. The Oriental short hair are very active, so take care. And the Siberians need a big home, cause they are big boned. They're big boned. Lay off. And the Sphinx can freak out all your friends Because they are naked The Sphinx can freak out all your friends Because they are naked Yeah, the Sphinx can freak out all your friends Because they are naked The Sphinx can freak out all your friends You want a naked cat, right? This is my cat clock that I got for for Christmas. I'm pretty sure it was a re-gift. We've got the Oriental at 8 o'clock, uh, the Sphinx at 9 o'clock, and the Burmese at 10 o'clock. So two solid hours of hypoallergenic good times. And that's, that's, yeah. This is the Burmese. I think it's my cat. 